Hi guys, and thanks for coming back to Makeup by AWB. So one of the biggest trends over the past couple of years have been to keep eyebrows very full, very defined, and very dominant. In fact, on most runways, we have seen that makeup has been getting lighter and lighter, but the eyebrows have been remaining very, very dramatic. So over the past little while, I have been letting my eyebrows grow out, and I wanted to show you today in this video two different things that I do to my eyebrows. Firstly, how I kind of keep them tamed and groomed while I'm growing them out, because when we grow out our eyebrows, it can look a little cray cray. Secondly, how I actually use makeup to make my eyebrows look fuller, yet still natural and wearable for every day. Before we jump right into the tutorial, it is important for me to just let you know that I'm showing you in this video how I do my eyebrows. Everyone's eyebrows are different and everyone's face shape is different. So after watching this video, I still strongly recommend playing around with a pencil, with a powder, with whatever products you have at home and figuring out what eyebrows shape you like best and what suits your face the best. So without further ado, if you'd like to see how I did these eyebrows, just keep watching. So in terms of grooming my eyebrows, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush them up and I like to use tweezers. These are my favorite ones. The ones from MAC are my absolute favorites. And when I'm growing out my eyebrows, I'm very careful to just pluck the eyebrows or the hairs that are clearly out of place and look awkward and just make my makeup look ugly. Um, I don't actually touch the actual shape because I'm letting them grow out. And then I like to take these scissors. They're super small and they're very straight. So it's really easy for me to just get right in there um, and just snip away a little bit. I really, my eyebrows are super long as you can see. So I like to brush them up and then I just very carefully snip them just to make sure they're straight at the top and be very careful when snipping on the sides because you don't want to get holes. So every now and then just brush them over and make sure that you are in the right uh, direction and that you're not over snipping them. So now we're gonna move on to makeup and how I actually make up my eyebrows. And I like to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is my absolute favorite brow pencil. I have steered away from it and every time I go back. This is in medium ash and I love how it has this fully on one end and then the very, very small twist up pencil on the other end. You can be super precise. I like to use little flicks to kind of draw in the hairs and I comb them up and I fill in first the bottom row and just small little flicks as you can see. And just in terms of points, I like to take from the edge of my nose to the edge of my eye and then that's where I see that my where my eyebrow needs to end. And then from the tip of my nose through my iris, that's where the highest point of the arch is gonna be. And then through the side of the nose, right up to the inner point of the eye, that's where your eyebrows should end. So if um, you just have to make them a little bit closer, you can do that. And then I really like to use a lighter brow product to set my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde. So as you can tell, this is much lighter than my eyebrows, but mixing that over your the pencil that's perfect for you, it just makes it look a little bit more natural because it's just a shade lighter than your natural eyebrows. If you don't have that, you can always just use a brow gel, and I love this one by MAC in the color Beguile. So that's how I've been doing my brows over the past couple of weeks and I absolutely love this routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!